All right, hey, what's up guys? Gratuitous from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I wanna do a quick walkthrough of the Oxygen Pro version two MIDI script and what's changed. It, it was just a very, very little minor change, but it was just a workflow improvement. I'm also gonna give you a quick up and running guide here as fast as possible, okay? So if you've just plugged in your MIDI keyboard, I personally don't suggest to update the firmware. You can if you want, but if it's working fine, just leave it as it is, okay? So turn it on, it'll be in DAW mode. So hold down DAW and you're gonna select FL Studio. It'll be FLST with a period and you're going to push to enter, okay? When we use this MIDI keyboard, you always wanna be in preset mode. And if you're just using this free MIDI script, which is available on uh, the Image Lion forum here, then you can see in Tempo Sync, you want this to be the external clock. If it is internal, these transport buttons will not work very well. So you hold down the Tempo Sync, you're gonna see that it's clock, you just push to enter the knob, you can rotate. So right now it is internal. If this is blinking, that's bad, you're in internal. So just make sure it is set to external. I'm just gonna to try to time it so that it's off. And that is it. So this is set up. Now I wanna show you how to install that MIDI script, okay? Again, this is now on Oxygen Pro uh, version two. So you're gonna to go to your documents. This is the same for Windows and Mac, I believe. You're gonna to go to image line. You may have a data folder. So just click through the data folder to get to here. You're gonna to go to FL Studio. You are gonna to go to settings. Then you are gonna to go to hardware. All right, so what you do is in the zip, you have to extract the zip. So you just drag the folder, okay? So here's the Oxygen Pro version two. And I have version one and version two in here just for myself, because I want to show you what version one was doing and what version two fixed. So in the zip file, you're just going to have the version two, okay? Now with that loaded into your hardware folder, you want to close FL Studio and reopen it so that it reads that new MIDI script. Go to options and you also can hit F10 to go to your MIDI settings. On the Oxygen Pro, you just enable it, it can be generic. Sometimes I've noticed FL Studio 20.9 has been switching this to the uh, M Audio 4961 and that's fine, okay? So I just leave it as Oxygen Pro, I have the 49 and I just leave it as generic controller enabled. Now don't worry about MIDI in two or MIDI in four, you just select MIDI in three, you make sure it is enabled, select controller type and then here on the far right is where all your custom MIDI scripts will be. Select the Oxygen Pro version two, I just want to select version one to show you what the problem was and what this is going to be fixing, okay? So what was happening is when we were in the playlist and if I hit forward, everything was good. You know, this is what I intended it to do. Go forward one bar in the playlist. But what was happening is if we were on the channel rack, look at the different sounds, it was doing this. And it was annoying because it just kind of broke the workflow. The same thing in the mixer. You can see that it is going forward and back in the mixer. This also happened in the browser. You're going to see see how it goes up and down in the browser. So all I did inside of this MIDI script, again, MIDI in three, we're just gonna select version two. So what I said is, if a conflicting window is focused, focus the playlist and then move one bar. Okay, same in the mixer, it's gonna focus the playlist, move one bar, same in the browser, we're gonna, okay. All right, so I just wanna show you the M Audio Software Manager. you know, just to make sure that we're all on the same page, okay? You can also click the M Audio here and uh, it pops up the version that you're using. Okay, that's something I found out uh, by using the software. So with it open, you wanna click the gear cog and show advanced software. So sometimes this checkbox is not there. Put your mouse and just click anyways and it will work, okay? Then these editors will be available to you, okay? So make sure to download the one that is pertaining to you. And so when I talk to you about the external, okay, so again, you can hold this down, you can select external, like I showed you, but if you're having to keep setting that up every time, you guys can use this preset editor, you can create your own template, you can save your own template, and you can send that preset back into the MIDI keyboard. So from nine to 16 is user editable, presets so you don't have to write overwrite any of their stuff i personally just write my own preset on preset one because that's how i use fl studio and then to access it all you have to do is you just hold down preset and this allows you to select your different presets okay here is the source so you got to make sure that is external okay so if you just want to create your own basic template put it as external send it back into your midi keyboard and this thing is good to go okay 
So if you guys have any questions, again, you guys can always reach me at hi at itsgratuitous.com. I'm an FL Studio trainer and I have tons and tons of uh, FL Studio courses. So thanks for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoy version two of the Oxygen Pro MIDI script. And again, make sure to let me know if you're noticing any bugs or even if you have ideas, maybe one day I can implement them. Thank you.